The Hidden Stairs and the Magic Carpet, Chapter 9, Into Thin Air. Whoa, whoa! The knees battered the door, but Eric and Neil held it as tight as they could. Dungeons don't have exits, Max said, crawling to the window. This is a storage room. Too bad it's not a magic storage room, Julie said. The invisible clock isn't big enough for all of us, and there's nothing here but these dumb old rocks. Rocks? said Care. They might be old, but maybe they're not so dumb. Check the label. Clunk! The knees banged harder on the door. Julie read the label. It says, Rocks by Pasha. Do not remove this tag. Cass face lit up. She nearly laughed. Find the green one with purple spirals in the corners. This is no time to pick out a rock, Eric said. Not just any rock, Cass said. A Pasha original. She helped Julie tuck out one big carpet. They spread it on the floor. Crick! The door started to splinter. Eric felt his strength slipping away. We can't hold this door much longer. Everyone on! Ken said, sitting on the rock. Julie jumped on. Now what? We fly? Suddenly, the carpet lifted from the floor. Yikes! Julie gossiped. I guess we do. Kaya laughed. The carpet must like your voice. Pasha's locks don't fly for just anybody. Julie shrugged. All I said was fly. Swoosh! The carpet circled the room. Boom! The door shook. One of its hinges blasted off. Max sprained with his thin arms and prayed the window open. Cold air swirled in from outside. Max! Eric! Neil! Julie cried. Get on the rock! No! said Max. I must go to save Liv. Besides, I don't ride rocks. I get airsick, you know? Waving with three of his arms, Max scrambled out the window and down to the ground below. Neil jumped onto the rock, holding the soccer ball between his legs. Wow, it's a wobbly up here! He crung to the long fringe and held out the hand to Eric. Grab and pull! Crunch! The door blast open, and a dozen knees rushed in, with Lord Spar in the lead. Eric lifted to the carpet. I will stop you! Spar cried. He thrust his fist at them. Red Eye of Dawn, give me the power! Curb! Bolts of junk of fire exploded in the room just as a carpet slid out the window. The rock pulled away into the air, but Spar aimed his fist again. He's going to blast us! Neil yelled. Suddenly, the white falcon was there, tearing out of the cloud. It swooped with incredible speed right at Spar. It's attacking him! Kaya cried. Come! The flame from the red jewel seemed to engulf Spar's hand. He stumbled back, his face twisted in pain. As the fiery bolts flew harmlessly into the air. Missed by a mile! yelled Julie. She stretched the rocks higher and higher into the sky. I will hunt you down, Spar shouted. But the falcon swooped again, driving him back from the window. 
Swoosh! The carpet lifted up from the fortress. Yahoo! Eric yelled as they soared into the sky. He was still yelling when they disappeared behind the cloud.